This week on Maker's Lab TV, you can learn how to make a bullet tray. Here we have a gun reloading tray for a 9mm bullet. Basically this tray is just going to hold the bullet after we put powder inside before we put the head in to complete the bullet. And if you want to see how it's made, go and watch it. Basically going to be doing something similar, but using this as an example, this is what I've come to here. And the uh, base of this was basically having three different levels, having our bottom plate, middle plate, and top plate, with some spaces in between to make sure that whenever we're putting it in, make sure there's the right depth for um, the casing to fit in. Okay, cool, so now we're ready to go and cut. Now that that's done and cut, uh, we're going to move on to this and I thought it would be quite cool to do this 9mm uh, engraving um, over the top piece which we've just cut now, just to give it a bit of flair so it looks a bit cooler. You know, looking off our example, we have the 9mm to 45 being the calibre. I just thought it would be a bit different if it had 9mm over the entire top piece, just so I think it would look a bit cooler than, you know, just having 9mm, it's a bit boring. Now that we've done the engraving, we're going to move to cutting out the washers. And these will go in between all the layers, between the, the top, middle and bottom, on near the holes here, just to give it a bit of space. All true cut laser cabinets from am.co.za come with a honeycomb table as a standard feature and it's removable. You can simply slide it off to expose the slats table and you can purchase honeycomb tables separately directly from am.co.za. Just call sales for more information. So, we've got all our components out, laid out here. Uh, we've got everything we need to make this. Um, but first, we need to clean off all the residue from the laser engraver, make sure that it looks like it's supposed to. And, uh, you know, I'm just gonna use a bit of sunlight liquid and some water, um, cloth, and that's basically all you need to do is wipe off all the excess residue. Yeah, look how cool that is, nice and clean now, and we're ready to put this thing together. So, in order to put this together, we needed some uh, you know, components from the hardware, and I've just gone and picked up some rubber feet for the bottom, um, and those will basically be sitting uh, like this, just so that uh, this, this thing doesn't move around too much. Um, and that you get from any hardware. And then I went and picked up some screws with some uh, lock nuts just to make sure that uh, you know the this thing doesn't come apart anytime soon make sure the lock nut actually keeps it all together um, and then putting this thing basically together basically we're sitting like this with our wooden spaces that we have cut out with the laser and that would be the final product just before we put it together all right, let's put this thing together. Okay, 
And there we go, a bullet reloading tray done. Completed, put together, looks pretty cool. Let's put it to the test. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.